Were you actually know. shoved off the cliff? Yeah, yeah, I was. Hi, thank you so much Hello. for being, this is such an honour for me. I'm Miranda, as I said. <laughs> it's such an honour for me to get to interview today, so thank you so much. That's my um, pleasure. So yeah, I just watched um, the film Baby Done the other night, and I really enjoyed it, actually. I think I can sympathise with Zoe and Tim's need for all that adventure and like kind of wild things, because there's so many things in the film, like there's bungee jumping, there's uh, competitive tree climbing. And the second list is the wildest things we need to do before the baby comes. I can't let you climb. I can do anything pregnant. What do you think is the wildest thing that you've done, whether it be on or off set? Well, I mean, I had to do that bungee jump for one, um, which was uh, the first time. Were you actually that. shoved off the cliff? Yeah, yeah, I was. Um, which, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that made it easier or worse, to be honest. I mean, I'd been, I'd been looking forward to it the whole time. Like they asked me, it was in, it was in the contract. That I, you know, I signed a contract saying I would do a bungee jump. And uh, then the closer it got to it, the more nervous I got. And I was getting like kind of worried and then and then when you actually get up on the thing and you look down and it's so high i was like oh man i i, I don't know if i can do this i don't know if i can if i can actually jump yeah. off this and so i said to the director i said look she's i know that we all want to be safe and stuff but you know as per script she pushes me can she really push me and he's like yeah i guess we'll ask the safety guy and the guy was like are you sure i was like yeah i think i need it and he's like, yeah, fine by me. So yeah, she really, she really pushed me, and I, I don't know if I could have done it if she hadn't pushed me. So that was nice. Um, Sorry, he cries when I cry. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh my god. Um, but I've been, I've been, I've been quite, quite fortunate with, uh, with doing mad stuff. When I was younger, I actually had, I had a bucket list of, of three things, three extreme things that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a skydive. I wanted to uh, swim, uh, go cage diving with great white sharks. And to do a bungee jump, mm -hmm. and um, I I did the first one for charity many years ago, skydive. Uh, when I was filming a show down in South Africa, I was able to go and do the great white shark diving. Um, and now in this in this film, I did a, I did a bungee jump. So I've kind of ticked off three pretty extreme things that I've always wanted to do there. Um, I guess. If there's anything left over, I'd quite, I'd quite like to go to space at some point. I don't know how feasible that is. It's a bit, it's a bit more expensive than than jumping off a cliff, but um, yeah. that would be that would be a dream for sure. What would you do? What, what extreme stuff have you done? Uh, I think one of the most extreme thing is I've been up an active volcano. I don't think that was particularly safe, but um, that's mad. Where we did it that? in the moment. This was in the Philippines. Yeah, um, I rode was, up a horse up an you... active volcano. That's wicked. Were you, were, you, were you allowed to, or did you just do it? No, my, my parents were there, my grandfather was there, and um, like the locals were like, yeah, yeah, it's no problem, just like, come on. That's and class. so we did. <laughs> that's that's yeah. brilliant. I mean, I, I, I rode a horse up to the Hollywood sign once, and um, and it was pretty it was pretty scary, actually. This, this bloody horse <laughs> was one that um, it really enjoyed. Um, she told me before I got on, she was like, are you afraid of heights? I was like... No, I mean, how tall can the horse be? She's like, no, not the horse. It's that the horse, ever since it was a fall, um, was obsessed with the was the edge. She she loved to look over the edge. So when we were walking up the up the cliff to the Hollywood sign, she would walk as, as close to the edge as she physically could, and all the way up, she kept slipping like a foot would slip, and she'd get back on. But she loved it. She was I don't know she was an adrenaline junkie. This damn horse. Um, so it was quite frightening. I could, I don't I don't know how much I'd enjoy going up an active volcano to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, in retrospect, not the best idea, but, you know, we did it, so there you go. <laughs> obviously, I could not leave this interview without acknowledging that I am a massive Harry Potter fan, which obviously is your, one of your most iconic roles. And so looking at this film made me reflect, like, if Neville Longbottom was to become a father, how do you think he would do? Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, I've never had that question before. Um, I would never, I think, I mean, I think he'd be, I think he'd be a brilliant dad. I think he'd be excellent. I think that he, um, in many ways, uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's better than me in terms of that. I don't think that Neville's a lazy person. I, I mean, I'm, I'm quite lazy, me. Um, and I'm quite selfish in that I, I like to do what I want to do, um, before I have to do things that I have to do, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, um, 
at, at certain times my particularly when it comes to like finances tidying the house um <laughs> i'll leave them until the last minute the last possible second while i'm oh, yeah. busy doing things that i want to do you know what watch, watching football or playing playstation or whatever. um and i don't think neville's like that i think neville would would get stuff done he likes to he likes to be proactive yeah. and and to work hard and 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 uh and do the best he can. And I don't know if he actually spends that much time on himself. Actually, I think he, he probably is more focused on, on, um, on getting, getting, uh, things done, um, that need doing rather than things that he can enjoy doing. Um, and, um, therefore I think that with a child that would, that would shine through his, his, his degree of responsibility would yeah. would be a huge thing. I mean, he'd he'd put the child first in everything um, before himself. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, he he would make a mess of it. Like you know, <laughs> he would probably drop the kid maybe at some point. He'd he'd probably uh, you know get the formula mixed up and he'd he'd forget the nappies when they went away and all stuff like that. The wizards wear nappies. I don't know, um, but he I think he would get he would sort of get all these things um, wrong and make a mess of it, and it would be a tremendous effort. But his heart would always be in the right place, which I think is the most important thing when it comes to raising a child. His heart would always be there, and and he would put the kid first, no matter what. And especially with the the uh, the example set for him by his own parents, he would know that yeah. that his own that the, the safety of his child would be paramount above his own. He'd be willing. I mean, he's we already know that he's willing to sacrifice everything for what's good. So he'd definitely be willing to sacrifice everything yeah. for his child. And I think he'd be a great father. I think he would be like very, maybe a little bit pushover though, but you know, we'll see. Oh, Hopefully. absolutely. Like when, once, um, once, once the kid got older, particularly if it was like a, if it was a young girl, oh, he'd be a, he'd be so terrible because he would, he would be a soft touch. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Well, speaking of Harry Potter, obviously we've seen various things come around in lockdown and hopefully I hope you guys are still in contact and keep in touch. But if you were forced to go into like a 2020 lockdown with one of your fellow cast members, who do you think you would go with? <laughs> just just me and them. Just the two of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Maybe um, the dogs. Maybe the dogs. Um, I think that I would go into lockdown with... Uh, at Alfie Enoch. Alfie oh, okay. Enoch. Um, because he is the uh, smartest man that I know. He is passionate. He we love the same comedy, like we have the same sense of humor. Um, he loves football, so we talk and watch football. We. Um, he makes me laugh. He's incredibly funny, um, and I also I like a, I like a debate. And Alfie is is always been someone who loves to much like myself. Has always been someone who loves to play devil's advocate. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think he was in the debating society at school. Um, I think it's just when you go to Oxford, you just are good at it. Um, <laughs> so he um, he we, we would have endless debates i mean i think we're, we're pretty much on the same page yeah politically and, and and socially and stuff like that um but we would have endless debates of one of us playing devil's advocate and having fun and 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 talking about philosophy and existential crises and all the rest of it um and i think that the important thing in lockdown is to stimulate your mind as well as your body so i think that uh alfie would be would be great for that very wise words from you as well, aren't you? <laughs> Rubbing off on you already. You're not even in the same room. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's all we have time for. But thank you so much. Again, this is like such an honour for me to be able to speak to you. Um, I can't even tell you how much impact you've had on my childhood and oh, wow, those books. Really thank um, you very much. So thank you so much. Have a brilliant day. And thank you also so much for this film. It was a really surprising one. I hadn't heard too much about it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, well, I'm so I'm sure it's going to be a hit when it comes out. So yeah, thanks Thank a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. It. That was a really nice interview. I will be googling active volcanoes and and horse riding after this. So thank you. Try it. It's it's a, it's an interesting experience. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. <laughs> Bye. Bye.